I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Several events are being held in Flagler County today to mark the 18th anniversary of 9-11. Tony Magoo has the details. There will be a memorial in Flagler Beach from 8 to 10 a.m. today that will begin at the Flagler Beach Fishing Pier and include a march down A1A to Santa Maria del Mar. Palm Coast Elks Lodge 2709 will host a 9-11 memorial ceremony at 9.45 a.m. today at the lodge at 53 Old Kings Road, North. That event is open to the public, but seating is limited. And the Knights of the Inferno Firefighters Motorcycle Club has rescheduled their 9-11 memorial ride for September 22nd. Registration will begin at 8.30 a.m. at the Flagler County Government Services Building in Vanell with a ceremony beginning at 9.30 that morning. The police-escorted ride will start at 10.30, ending at the Hidden Treasure Raw Bar and Grill. That's at 820 Moody Lane in Flagler Beach. There'll be free food and live music. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. Benel's Grand Reserve subdivision will soon be seeing some new development. John R. King reports. The Benel City Commission voted unanimously Monday to add 117 single-family home sites in Grand Reserve. The preliminary plan from developers D.R. Horton and Deer Run CDD would subdivide parcels for home sites and open space, along with space for roads and utilities. Benel City Manager Alvin Jackson said this will go a long way towards creating even more growth for the city. It's exciting because it continues to add to a residential tax base, so it's growing our tax base. It creates customers for our utilities, and it's a great quality residential community to have in the city of Benel. And so it, it will definitely help help when we are recruiting uh, industrial and commercial industry because it adds to housing stock. We are very excited about it. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Orkin. Is the growth in Flagler County keeping up with the jobs here? Helga Van Eckert, Flagler County's Executive Director of Economic Opportunity, says yes. If you drive around, you'll see all the homes being constructed, a lot of dirt being moved, especially along the Route 1 area. We have apartments coming in now as well so that we are addressing the shortage that we had in that particular category. Van Eckert said that the projected workforce growth in the next five years could be another 15,000 people. She said that as businesses come, so will the employees. Van Eckert said that the county now has training programs so that people can be ready to go to work when the businesses come into Flagler County. You can hear the entire interview on the Free For All Friday podcast, which you can find on the Flagler radio app. You can download that today. Tomorrow, Jacksport and how we benefit from Jacksonville. Or is it the other way around? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. He's truly a pay-it-forward leader. Palm Coast has a new director of public works. Matthew Mansell has been tapped for the position. City manager Matt Morton tells us more about his credentials. He really takes the time to invest what he knows and our resources into the next generation of leadership. And he does it graciously and intentionally. And Matt was a unanimous choice among not just the executive team, but the staff team. And we're really looking forward to him taking our public works department to uh, the next level of service with our people first mentality. Prior to his career in government, Mansell served 23 years with the Air Force becoming a Command Chief Master Sergeant. He retired last month. Also a new appointment, Lauren Johnston has been named Parks and Rec Director after spending more than 12 years with the department when she became one of its youngest employees. A homegrown superstar right here within our organization. Lauren started work for the City of Palm Coast when she was 17 years old. Uh, She's been with us ever since, but the best thing about Lauren is she brings a whole new leadership vision and a strong energy to the Parks and Rec Department. He adds Johnston, a graduate of Matanzas High School, has already shown them how well she works with community stakeholders and organizations. Over the years, she's played a pivotal role in community events, from the Thanksgiving Feet to Feast 5K and the annual tree lighting. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.